We've got some impeachment inquiry news to pass along. According to White House advisor Alexander Vindman's testimony from yesterday, the official transcript from Trump's Ukraine phone call didn't contain the entire conversation. He says the White House cut out damaging information and replaced it with dot, dot, dot. Although, <laughs> I would... Look, it is Donald Trump. It's Donald Trump. It's entirely possible he just said dot, dot, dot. <laughs> you know what I mean when I say dot, 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 right? Ellipses, you know? It's that, you know when you're texting your ex <laughs> and then they go to text you back and those dots pop up, pop up, <laughs> and you wait, and then your soul gets crushed when it just disappears. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Here's the thing. Do we even need to fill in the blanks? The edited transcript was more than enough to start an impeachment inquiry. This is like a detective on a crime scene saying, obviously, a murder occurred here. <laughs> It's also possible there was jaywalking. <laughs> Meanwhile, the president was having a busy day online. He took to Twitter this morning to once again rail against the impeachment inquiry. And in the tweet, he swapped the E in the word Republicans with a U. Right, look at this. He wrote, Republicans. <laughs> Trump then clarified by tweeting, sorry, it meant rub pelicans. Damn it! <laughs> I meant robbed lubricants. No! <laughs> Raw, blue, pica forget it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I honestly think the president believes that the red squiggly line under a misspelled word is Twitter's way of letting him know that he's doing a great job. <laughs> Trump swapped the E with a U. It could have been worse. It could have happened when he was tweeting about the rapper 50 Cent. Oh! Hard to know whether that joke will make the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's still figuring it out. <laughs> Wait. There it is. Okay. <laughs> then later in the day, the president tweeted out a photoshopped image of himself giving a fake medal to the hero dog from the recent ISIS raid in Syria with the words, American hero. Look at that. <laughs> I know, I like this. I like, you know what? Impeachment over. <laughs> <laughs> you keep the adorable animal photos coming. We're cool. It's all cool. <laughs> now, this is a fake photo. If you look closely enough, you can practically hear Donald Trump whispering to the dog, you know a doctor can get you out of military service, right? <laughs> In other political news, Twitter came out with a major announcement today. They will no longer allow political advertising on their platform. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's amazing. So now... I do it's kind of a great thing. I, I really think it is. So now if you want to see dishonest political ads, you'll have to head over to literally any other website on the internet. <laughs> No political advertising on the Twitter platform. I'll tell you, if the Founding Fathers were alive, they would have no ability to remotely understand this. <laughs> and, fi <laughs> and fi <laughs> Finally, Halloween is tomorrow, and if you're looking for a last-minute costume idea, check this out. An online costume shop is, sh is selling a sexy Miss Impeachment Halloween costume. <laughs> As if the idea of Trump getting impeached wasn't sexy enough already. <laughs> a Miss Impeachment costume. Or, if you want to dress as something scary, there is nothing on Earth more terrifying than the re-elected for a second term costume. <laughs> Reggie, you 